Oh my god, are you seriously still typing sequential number in your spreadsheet like it's 1995? Here's a smarter way to deal with this. Plus, my Excel trick skips blank rows, so if the name column is empty, no useless row numbering are assigned. We start the formula with equal, double quote, num space, double quote, followed by n sequence, and then however many rows that you want to apply the sequence to. It's got 20 rows. So you can also improve this better. You can see that it's kind of weird that you don't have a name, but you do have a sequence number. The way to get around that would be to use the word all macro called count A, followed by all the rows starting from B, all the way down to however many rows you want to do it. Close it. Then if you don't have a name, there will not be any sequence number. But now if you type, type Sam, Sally, and add, you can see the sequence number will come in play.